Hi friends. Hi friends, Johan Philip here and today we are in John chapter 11 verses 55 onwards and uh, we have come to the final few days in John's, in John's account of Jesus' life on this earth. We are heading, Jesus is heading towards his death and his resurrection. The, the passion journey has begun. Um, previously, Jesus had avoided going to Jerusalem because he said his time hadn't come, but Clearly now he knows his time has come and so he's come back into Jerusalem. And interestingly, he's come uh, back to Jerusalem at the, the time of the Passover. as People were preparing for, for the Passover. And uh, if you look at the few verses before that, the, the chief priests uh, and the Pharisees had, had decided that Jesus, who was raising men from the dead like Lazarus, was a cause of grave concern to them. And so they wanted to kill him uh, and, and get rid of him. And they were out looking for Jesus to seize him and, and kill him uh, around, of the time, around the time of the Passover. And what was the Passover? The Passover was when, when God's people, the Israelites, were in slavery in Egypt. Uh, and you might remember the story of Moses and, and the plagues that were on, on, on Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And one of the last plagues, uh, one of the last judgments that God pronounced over the people of Egypt was that if, if Pharaoh did not let the Israelites go, uh, he would sent his angel of death, God would send an angel of death to kill the firstborn of every household in Egypt. But for the Israelites and his people, uh, he said, God said to, to Moses, tell the Israelites to go and find a, a, a spotless, pure lamb and sacrifice it, kill it and smear its blood, its blood on the threshold of your homes. And when the angel of death passes by, the homes which have blood smeared on its threshold, it, it will pass over those homes and not kill the firstborn. In those homes but for the rest of the homes the egyptian homes first one would be killed and and that was the story and they were in, in remembrance of this this occasion and then pharaoh on the back of that said go get out leave egypt go do your thing um and the and the israelites left egypt and they were the possible was was a reminder of this and so you see the the, the tension of this of the story where during this time when the 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 pure lamb to who's, who's, uh, who was who was going to be killed and whose blood was going to be smeared over a household and those people who were within those households would be protected from God's judgment in in that time of remembrance of, of that event they were looking for Jesus who is uh, we know who is uh, who is whose blood and whose death uh, is is that which protects us which keeps us from from God's judgment and indeed gives us eternal life with Jesus um, and that's what that that Passover was and so around this time uh they're looking for for jesus jesus who just raised lazarus from the dead uh, and this caused them the, the the chief priests and the pharisees grave concern and they said no we need to kill jesus but jesus knew that was going to happen and he headed into jerusalem he knew his time had come and then we come to this beautiful story of of mary who um who whose brother lazarus had just been raised from the dead uh, by jesus and she she took a very expensive a uh, bit of perfume and broke it and, and smeared it on Jesus' feet and then unbraided her hair and, and wiped uh, his feet. And Judas was upset. Why, why, why is she doing this? This is expensive perfume. Give the money to the poor. And Jesus said, leave her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. And Mary uh, has just encountered Jesus who who raised her brother from the dead and she loves him. And she does this, this tremendously extravagant act of worship. And Jesus hasn't raised just our brothers and our sisters from the dead. He is raising us from the dead. You and me personally, we are going to enjoy eternal uh, life. And how much more then should our, our worship be extravagant towards Jesus? And really, that's my, my prayer for myself, my prayer for you this morning. As, as we read the these next few chapters, as we go through... Uh, the rest of the, the, the passion narrative, Jesus' death and resurrection. Let it stir extravagant worship in our hearts towards Jesus.